Virgin Queen, a game for two to six players, is about war, religion, politics, negotiation, and more. The game is massive and can take two hours to teach and five to eight or more hours to play. There are multiple paths to victory, one of which is military. If you take over enough square spaces on the board, the number of which depends on which player faction you are, you'll automatically win the game. Diplomatic relations is a big part of this game. You not only can negotiate with other players, but you can gain influence with minor NPC powers to gain control of them. Another route to victory is through religion. If a player takes over enough spaces of their religion, they will automatically win the game. This option is limited to only certain factions. Your nation can patron artists and scientists to score you points. Players can agree to marry royals between their factions, and can score points if a good result is rolled. Virgin Queen is a card-driven game, which means the events and actions you perform are determined by the cards you play. You can play a card for its action points, which allow you to do certain actions, or you can play it for its event, which can have various effects on the game. There are a multitude of actions you can perform in the game, which can include military, naval, patronizing artists or scientists, buying diplomatic influence, and espionage. Some factions have religious actions they can do, such as preaching sermons in various nations, and rebelling in others. Virgin Queen is played over seven turns. At the end of the seventh turn, if no one has won, then whoever has scored the most points wins. There are a couple of other ways to win through points. Either gain five more points than other players starting at the beginning of turn four, or get to 25 points at the end of a turn. Hello folks, so this is turn zero of Virgin Queen, great name. So I've gathered the few people I could to play this game. This is a day after I explained the rules for, what, two hours, right? Roughly. Yeah. yeah. So I kind of want to just get some impressions from people so far of what they've seen of the game in terms of rules and where they're doing stuff. So first off, let's go clockwise, starting with you. Oh my gosh. So, hello, who are you? I am Mike, also known as Virtuous Heretic, also known as Sunbro for Life! Alright, Dark Souls! Um, anywho, I am playing a combination of the English and the Protestants. And with a and side of Ottoman. With some Ottoman. Um, due to cancellations, I wanted to play the Protestants because they have the ability to start rebellions and essentially appear anywhere mm -hmm. in the game. And ended up also playing the English and de facto the Ottomans. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to drink a lot of coffee. <laughs> yes, the thing about a three player game, this is normally designed for six. Uh, in a three player game, one player has to play two powers. The reason there's a third power in play is because it's kind of an NPC nation that gets controlled by players occasionally. So, Mike is not going to have to control that nation all the time, but certainly some of the time. We'll see how that goes. Epic failure. Next up, hello, who are you? I'm Abe. Hello, Abe. Hey. So, you are playing the Spanish, I believe. Yeah. So, what are your thoughts on the game so far? Whoa. Whoa? Whoa. Whoa. It's a lot of stuff. So I, stuff. I'm throwing a lot at these people, and maybe that's why it can't cancel. So there's cancellations. Um, actually, that was just because of random logistics. It's hard to get six people for a weekend, isn't it? I guess. So two hours of rules explanations, and then finally we're starting. And uh, any, any other thoughts other than woe? There's a lot of woe here. There's a lot of woe. Actually, I'm excited to start. Okay. Lastly, uh, I guess I'll show my hideous face. 
Hello, I am Aubrey, um, also known as Trenon. I don't know why I picked that name. I am playing the French, who are surrounded by all, on all sides. They're the blue guys. And I basically try to marry off my royals and not get killed. I don't know how that's going to go. And uh, we'll see how this goes. That is uh, turn zero. Okay, so Virgin Queen turn one has ended. It took about an hour and a half, I want to say. Yeah, roughly. Yeah, okay. That's not so bad for a game of this magnitude. What are your thoughts on controlling three powers at once? Well, I lost one of them. Uh, uh, that's true. Spanish diplomatic relations. The Ottomans uh, made peace with the Spanish, basically, and decided to chill out. I think there was a lot of threatening in that. <laughs> There's a lot of threatening. Basically what happened is France and England are fighting. Spain is fighting the Ottomans for quite some time, and then they decided to make peace or something. I don't know. Uh, and the Protestants rebelled everywhere. The France and the Netherlands, if you notice these little markers here with the white center, that's a Protestant space. If you notice it's orange, that means it's a Dutch space, and the gray is the Huguenots. Oh, oh, France is being taken over, and the Netherlands is being taken over. It's just not good. What are everybody's thoughts on the game so far, starting clockwise again? Um, I think it's very interesting, uh, the asymmetricalness. I think there's a lot of pressure in a lot of different situations, and I'm curious to see if England can survive the assaults of the French. Hmm. Perhaps. We will see. We will see. What do you think of it so far? Spain. Spain is everywhere. Spain <laughs> is everywhere. to think about. Spain, yeah. Spain is in the New World. Spain is in Spain. Spain is in Italy. Spain is in the Netherlands. It's fighting on at least three fronts, from kind of like three and a half, if you count and the New piracy. World. And piracy. And piracy, piracy, piracy. Personally, what I think of the game, and we'll turn it towards me. Hi. Whatever. Um, DA. Yeah, I've played this before. I, 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 I think this is interesting. I think France is in an interesting position. They're kind of a mix between diplomacy and stressing out with the Protestants trying to, you know, come up from their scummy sewers or wherever those Huguenots come from. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how this goes. End of turn one, beginning of turn two. Okay, Virgin Queen, uh, beginning of turn three. Turn two had some stuff happen, I think. Mostly it's just a tug of war. Both NPC powers got activated. England lost control of Ireland. France is still doing whatever French things they are, marrying off people. And uh, Spain is trying to keep control of everything they have and doing an okay job at it. Ottomans and Okay, Holy Roman Empire are doing nothing. I have one more key than I had last time. Okay, fine. You're, you're, at, you're at where you started. Yeah, but I had four. Okay. I had, yeah, yeah, yeah. Any particular things that happened this last turn that I'm missing? Because for all we did, it seems like we kind of had a neutral thing. Other than I think the Protestants are losing foothold over their places. Yep. Um, like I'm fighting everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Any statements on the game so far from people? Eh. Eh. That's, that's it. Eh. 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 Towards the game or eh towards your situation in the game? That one. Okay. Abe, any thoughts so far? Spain. Spain? Spain. <laughs> okay. Everywhere. My thoughts are, well, um, I don't know. Slow and steady wins the race. I don't know what France is doing. Just stay away from you guys. Um, I have the Ottomans on my side. And they're all the way over away. <laughs> So yeah, turn two. That's that. Espionage. Espionage is still very. Well, we haven't. We never got to that turn, yeah. really. Yeah. yeah. So. So okay, we're starting recording. Um, Virgin Queen, turn three. We have decided to call it. Several factors came into reason for this. One. One player felt like they were out of the game. Hey, that um, was me, and uh, I would love. I'm the England Protestant. I feel very much in control with the Protestant side, or as much in control as I have. But literally, I'm at the point... I'm literally only going to get two cards with England. Yeah. So even if I t use one of them to get rid of this unrest, I'm still at two cards. Yeah. 
And now that the elements of espionage have come in... Well, don't forget your card bonus for Queen Elizabeth. Yes. Oh, three cards. cards. Yeah. Especially when I keep drawing ones. England would be devoted entirely to preventing him doing the powder plot, which is an instant win. Yeah. Um, and that's all it would have done. Um, I probably the war would have probably I probably would have ceased it with France, but that mm -hmm. wouldn't have helped either. Mm -hmm. Actually, I may not have because I wanted to try to take Scotland at some point, but I have no cards to do things with. Mm. Uh, I discovered a little bit too late how exactly the naval captains work, mm. um, which uh, Trinant slash Aubrey, whatever he's supposed to be called, on doesn't the matter. Works, on. Was primarily what England was supposed to do, which is pillage Spain. As for the Protestants, it's a constant battle because whenever I rebel, I do gain control of spaces, but that immediately puts me in war. However, I was enjoying that. I was losing some traction on the French side, right? Yeah, the Protestant chart itself. However, my military side is actually somewhat promising. I've actually made advances. I didn't have Antwerp at the beginning of the turn, where now I do. Right. So I would have gotten more victory points off that and more cards. So I felt good there, it's just the red. No, not so, no. Yeah. Yeah, uh, England... Well, I think it England very much would have... Yeah, I think it very much would have helped if we had more players in the game and I would have been able to trade with another Protestant nation. Right, and which, say, hey, Protestants, maybe give me a couple of cards, help a guy out here. Unfortunately, the, the Spaniard over here got control of the Holy Roman Empire, which would have given me a Protestant ally. Right. So, um, yeah. so, so unlucky. <laughs> I was just like, yeah. I, I didn't even know what I was doing. I was just like, let's do it. And, and that's one thing about this oh, game. It does awesome. have a good amount of randomness to it. I wouldn't say it's like destructively random. It's not like... Or is it? I, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. Um, I just, I think that it, it, it's kind of a check and balance. Mm. Why don't we go over what Spain did in Spain's... Endless war with Tripoli. Yeah. Um, I... Spain spent this entire, almost this entire turn trying to take one fortress. It didn't even give points. It was just this fortress. And I think the reason he did that is he wanted to kill a pirate that um, wasn't really doing much. But he had an event card that killed the pirate. And it wasn't even, and we're not even sure if it was technically a legal move or not. But hey, whatever. And, and, point. and then Spain was, other than that, Spain was doing damage control in the Netherlands. A lot of Dutch revolting going on there. Other things, other things. Um, I was about to take control, I was about to start a war against Venice. Mm. That's for its key that I didn't even know was there. No one told me a key was there. Uh, yeah, it's kind of buried under little chits. There's no square there. There's no square. It, it's all circles and, and rectangles. But there's no square. Every other key has a Oh, square. yeah, that's because it's not under control of any major exactly. power. Yeah, that's but kind of it's confusing. It's really easy for Spain to control it, and I probably would have spent the first two turns trying to control Venice rather than a worthless fortress. Yeah. Because I would have captured mm. Tunis, given up on that, and then went straight for Venice. And then I would have been at that six cards, 12 VP um, for I'm, one turn. I'm just not sure if the big thing with England is if they should immediately attack the Scottish? No, what, well... Or they're kinda... supposed to get diplomatic relations with the Scottish. Oh, um, I think they, card... they try to take Scotland back from hey. France. Yeah, that's what I'm, yeah. This card that I got... Is it, which one is it? The Is it a mandatory event, Dragoot Falls? Player Close? by the power that controls York, Carlisle, Berwick, or any space in Scotland, uh, Scotland. Target another power that controls one of these seven spaces, draw a card from that power's hand, and keep it, and it's playable. Ooh. Or playable by England, France, or the Protestant to immediately gain four diplomatic influence in Scotland. Yeah. And then you could have... Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, that in that in holds pretty rough. And then I lost Ireland due to a card. Mm -hmm. Basically, the HRE of all the Holy Roman Empire, which is here, caused a rebellion... <laughs> Here, which lost me a card. They they sent diplomatic envoys and convinced Ireland. I don't know. <laughs> uh, um, that, they only what? have they only have one port, um, which so is here, we, and we they have no boat. Some closing thoughts on Virgin Queen for today. Uh, no, I I, I want to say this is kind of a learning game to me. Yeah. Um, it's a good but game. and and with a with. Three people, we didn't get really the effect of feel of it. I think with four, it would have worked. 
because we wouldn't have anybody controlling two powers base. Mm -hmm. Even with, you know, these kind of are substitute powers, but they wouldn't be like as hard to manage as like England and Protestants with two home cards and two crazy things going on. Uh, what are your thoughts, uh, Mike? I think that there, there's a very interesting balance in the game. And mm. the factions have very interesting potential, all of them. I think it is a playstyle thing, mm -hmm. which is why I did okay with the Protestants and not so okay with the English. But I think it's a very interesting game. I think very few games have the negotiations that occur. Mm. So that's my piece. Okay. So bro for life. Okay. Abe, uh, you have like one minute or less. Um, Spain. No. I like it. Yeah, Spain. I would have been cool to, like, I'm told to be down with finishing this game, just not today. Okay. Well, I'm going to close it there, and yeah. Uh, thank you, Internet.